Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> I got what did I know? You, Tommy? Come on, just steal yeah. Your Boss is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. हेलो दोस्तों मेरा नाम है जीत और आप सभी का स्वागत है बिक्सकल गेमिंग चैनल में आज आप देख रहे हैं मैं डेफिनेटिव एडिशन का एपिसोड नंबर टू चलो गेम को शुरू करते हैं आप लोगों ने पिछले एपिसोड में तो देखा था हमने टोन के ग्रुप को ज्वाइन किया डोन अब क्या हमारे साथ बात करना चाहता है तो चलो जाके उससे बात करते हैं Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paul and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe we'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Talk to Vincent Joe. Not Vincent Joe. Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. Yeah, we know about. How to get out? You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Come on, we haven't got all day. Show me your aim. Good posture, real bang. Brain all up the walls, okay? Now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. Chalo, gun le liya. Hatta lena jana hai abhi. Chalo. You guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cup. You, you know how to get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And then afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Tommy, show me what you can do. Okay, it's a car. We got it. Have a good day, little fellas. Better, better, jelly, get him. Better. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. to the first collection.
Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! So little now, she's turning into a pain in the ass. Like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. Oh? Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried that wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia? Where's the money? Ron, fetch him! Poi ci succhiate il sangue! It's on the table, bro! Galli di ricche. Siamo di metà nella. Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! I got it. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. Sure. And give our best to your mom. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Talo. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's a... Okay. There it is. Finally! Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Smoking. <laughs> ah, Tom! Tom, I can't go to Jesus there. Christ, Paul! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come Capish. back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sal. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Ah, I can wait. Sam, can get. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. We are going. And we are into the motel. I'd kill for some action. 
छुपा देते हैं अब नहीं है इधर है still around here somewhere. Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ! Uh, come on, you'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh shit! He's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard! He's okay. Guardian, but guardian, but Inside. Guardian, but. Then go get the money!
Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm not doing it. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Chapter complete. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you'll bust on your back doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. Lord and over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, dumb. Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. Yeah, we are done. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grills a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. Kachumbar, I'm not your host. Someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I'm Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Hmm. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Yeah. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. 
the kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to cow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, Bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. I'm about to let you out for a race. You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and अभी का मिशन ये है कि कोई रेस करने के लिए कोई फर्स्ट एस्ट कार है उसको चोरी करके लाना है सो दैट्स अ बिग डे कमिंग अप फॉर राइट डिड यू यू सीन द रेस बिफोर काइंड ऑफ हार्ड टू मिस सिलियरी इज गोइंग टू लेट मोरेलो ब्रेक हिज विनिंग स्ट्रीक हां नो नो सर गॉट टू सेंड हिम अ मैसेज सो टुनाइट वी विल बोरो हिज गाइस मोटर फ्रॉम द ट्रैक My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dog. He'll we'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you to 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 turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. Then in there is this other guy, the Lucas Berton. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little, make the race tomorrow more 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 interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you got to be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at one thirty, and then then the next guy. He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey! If you need somewhere to keep your mama motor safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Garage, I'm out. एक्सलरेशन थोड़ा तो ज्यादा है इसको ड्राइव करते हैं You, Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's. <sighs> What's wrong with you? <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick yeah, up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. 
उसके लिए सर प्रिपरेशन हो रहा है ओके दिस इज इट Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. लगता है गाड़ी है। For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful.
Out of here. Big day tomorrow. Yes, sir. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear him cracking. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Ah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, so, uh, you got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Oh, broke shit. his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, Be Mike, I'm going to race for him. It's a half hour before the start. Off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. 